Hey, how's it going you guys? Abner here from the beautiful island of Maui. What have I learned as a new sports card investor? How did I get here? How did I all of a sudden start to invest in sports cards? Thank you, Gary V. And by Giannis Rookie Cards, number 290, 2013 Panini Prism, PSA 9, 10 graded, they're 300 bucks, 250 to 300 bucks right now. God forbid they win the finals this year and stun the Warriors. It'll be 600, but even if not, unless he has catastrophic injuries, this is the best player in the NBA in four years, and this is an $800 card in four years. I've been watching Gary for years now. I own my own small business here on Maui, so I watch Gary V for social media, marketing, small business, personal branding tips. He talks about sports cards here and there, and then all of a sudden he started to talk about sports cards even more. So that's what brought me here to get into sports card investing. What brands of sports cards are there? This is what I learned. Growing up on Maui, we used to collect sports cards, and I remember the brands used to be Tops and Upper Deck. It no longer is those brands. So the brand nowadays is Panini. Panini has the rights to NFL and NBA, which means they can make cards with um, the most popular NBA and NFL players. So Panini is the brand. Now within the brand of Panini, there is different products. So this is what I, what I have also learned. There is three main products. The first top tier is Prism. The middle tier is Optic, and the bottom tier is Select. So for NBA and NFL, I do. Ba I like basketball and NFL. That's the three tiers you will be seeing. What I have also learned, because you know everybody has a cell phone, you do your research, and then there pops up. Say I see a Prism NBA box. On that box, you will also see Hobby and retail. What I've also learned is that hobby is better, more popular, more expensive. Retail is less. It makes sense. You know, all you do is just look for the name and you don't look at anything else. So what I actually do, and if you do this too, if you look at the box, the hobby box, it offers more products inside as opposed to retail. So Hobby will give you 12 packs with 12 car cards, two autographs, 24 prisms, as opposed to retail, one autograph guaranteed and 12 prisms. So it makes sense after doing my research. Is my 90s, 80s cards worth big money? So you probably, when you're growing up, you probably have one of these books. This is my friend Kyle's book. Remember putting your cards in these binders. These are all from the 80s, 90s. Really nice cards here. You have what it looks like, Tops, Walter Payton, Bears, Running Back. Ah, my favorite, Tops, Work Done card right here. These are worth Zippo, Nada, Zero. Let me explain. In the 90s, they made bazillion of those cards, thus having too much supply, not enough demand. So those cards are worth, unfortunately, zero dollars. The new modern era, they got really smart, and I think this is cool uh, because they had less supply of cards. Meaning, so nowadays you will find cards that are numbered you will find them numbered to 199, 135, 25. You even have cards that are one of one. Number card meaning they only made 199 of that specific card. One of one would mean there's only one card of that, meaning the price on the one of one will be more than the, the card that is 199. But also the base, which is just a regular card, you don't know, they made a million of those cards. So thus, it, it'll it be less in price. So that's the cool thing about number cards. What they also do nowadays is they have uh, what's called jersey or patch cards. So these are 
cutouts of the actual jersey from the players. They'll put it on the card also too. I think that's super cool. What they also have too is player uh, game worn jerseys. So the player actually wore that in the game, which is awesome. And then you have player worn jerseys, which is the player put it on for a second, took it off, and then they put that on the card, which will be, you know, less valuable as opposed to the player game worn. You will also have autographs. So I've, I've just learned this too. There is stick sticker autographs, meaning there is a piece of paper with stickers on it and the person, the athlete signs it and then Panini puts that on the card as opposed to the player holding the card and putting their autograph. That's called an on-card autograph. So you have sticker autograph and then you have on-card autograph. The on-card will be more valuable. And then um, I'm not too familiar with this, but I've also seen this, which is inserts and parallels, which is, I believe you will have a base card, which is just a regular card. And then you have different versions of that same card. Okay, let's say this was just the, the base card. This is a Michael Jordan card. And then you will have inserts totally different um, it's usually not numbered. It's just things that they put in to change it up, which I think is cool, really smart. The marketing on the back end of sports cards, it's so cool and interesting to, to me, you know, as a small business owner, because you have regular cards that are not worth that, that are not worth anything at all, really, because there's so much. And then you come in and just change up the game with a different looking card and you put it in here. So that's what I think is inserts or parallels. Please look that one up. I'm not too familiar with that. What is my strategy for sports card investing? Pre-coronavirus, my strategy was to buy three, to buy four cards, four players cards. First player, LeBron James, my favorite athlete. I will actually watch a basketball game of him Second player is Lamar Jackson. Really excited, I will actually watch a game. I could watch the whole game. Uh, next player is Zion Williamson. I can actually watch a game. Luka Doncic. I haven't watched the game actually. I've just seen a lot of people buying his card and seeing the highlights so i actually added him to the list so my strategy for pre-coronavirus was to collect those players uh, i actually bought one luca and one zion let me show you guys those cards uh, 2018 panini prism luca Doncic base card uh, this is a psa 9 graded card I paid $197.60 for this. I looked on eBay right before I started the video. One sold for $189.99. So the price went down a little bit. Uh, I also bought one Zion Williamson card. So here's the card here. This is uh, NBA Hoops. Now this is a different product so remember I said Prism, Optic, Select. This one is NBA Hoops, which is Panini again. This is a bottom product too. But because Prism and Optic and Select is so high, I bought this card. I spent 190 on this card, uh, $190 on this card. The other ones were too expensive. I couldn't afford it. Uh, but anyways, I looked on, on eBay the same card sold for $186.37. Um, there was also another one that sold for $156. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hold on to these cards. Once the season comes back and these two teams make the playoffs, I believe these two cards will go up in value and then I will sell the cards. Now we're in the coronavirus era. I don't have a job because our business has shut down due to coronavirus. We teach surf lessons here on Maui and you cannot travel 
to Maui. You cannot leave your house. Um, so no business, no job. I have to change my strategy. So my strategy after doing research is I've heard other people say, buy players that you like to watch. So there's two players that I like to watch, LeBron James and Lamar Jackson. So I want to buy those cards because what I've learned is if their values go down, I don't mind keeping them and looking at the, the cards myself. So that's one strategy I am doing. LeBron James, Lamar Jackson, still super popular. I mean, popular, because I like them, everybody else likes them. So my new strategy, what I have done and implemented is I am buying Lakers players. So my theory is, my strategy is the Lakers, I believe the Lakers and LeBron James will do good, I'm hoping. So if they do good, I'll buy the players low. Uh, so like hopefully dollar to five dollars per card and when they go up in value to 20 to 40 then I will sell the cards so I actually bought a couple cards I'm gonna show you guys first card is a uh, Rajon Rondo this is not a rookie card okay this is the prism red card but it is numbered this one is numbered 8 of 125 so the numbers will usually be on the front this one is actually in the back uh, I don't know if you can make it out, but it is right here, this silver. I spent on this card $4.67. I am hoping this card will go up and I can sell it. The next card I bought was a um, Javel McGee. It's a uh, in-flight 2019-2020 uh, select autograph card. There you go. This one is also numbered to 35. So this one is numbered to 35 and it's going to be somewhere in the corner. This is hard to see. I spent $19.97 on this card. Um, another tip is to just wait. You know, on these players, Rajan Rondo, JaVel McGee, if it's not a star, just wait because something will pop up cheaper. I looked online for this same card. It was going for $10 free shipping. I paid $19.97 um, total, which is shipping and taxes and fees. Also, my number one mistake that I did was I went to Walmart, I had the itch, and I bought some NFL 2019 score packs, which cost me about 70 bucks and just wasted my money. Just wait for the best boxes that you would want to buy and don't regret getting. Because I regret getting those football cards. They're not worth anything. You want to wait for the boxes that are worth money. So do the group breaks or just buy them on eBay or look for the different sites that has the actual boxes that you want that are valuable. Okay guys, that's it. That's what I've learned so far. I probably have learned a couple more, but those were my main points. I am really happy what have I, I've taken on this sports card investing, but it's also good practice for me to put out these videos because I am learning how to make videos and talk on the camera. So this is really interesting. Uh, if you are a new sports card investor, comment down below where you're from and also you know if you have pulled any cool cards let me know i'm super excited i'm really into the sports card market right now i like lebron james i uh, don't mind watching i also like watching lamar jackson i'm super excited i can't wait for sports to come back but yeah let me know comment down below where are you guys from or anything you want to comment down below thanks for watching you guys abner signing out from maui